So, first off, my game is turned on. Here I'm on my screen. You have to download Proxy Fire. I'll give it Sling. It's not that hard. And I'll give you the proxy down below. I won't give you the proxy link because. Okay, I will give you the proxy link as well. You can find any proxy that's working because most of the proxies are not working. And I have a proxy that is working. I've found it because uh, when I played in the early times of this game, in the early stages, I had that proxy that worked. I tried more nothing else works so I saved that and I have it with my cells then you go and make yourself a new ID that's not hard you can make your ID really easily go to turn on proxy fire and go to proxy servers now here click on add you can put the proxy here port here and select socket 4 then ok it will ask you two things yes and ok and then ok now you can come here, click on name resolution and DNS processing on UDP level. You make it disable bypass all. That is all for proxy fire. It's done. You need to restart your PC once so that and this UDP level thing works. Now you go to your time and date. From here, change your time zone to Bangkok, Hankai, and Jakarta, and then go to region and language and set it to Thailand I had it on Singapore right now and the game was not working was telling me uh, service is busy I, I forgot that it was on Singapore so I had to just tune it back to Thailand that's working I'm in game and you go to PUBG's main website create an ID that's super easy you just need to go there and uh, it'll show you login and to sign up over your you know, top right corner you can do that that's not hard then you just turn on the emulator and it will download the game uh, you have to manually start the download uh, first it will ask you for the login login with your ID that you just created then in the top left corner oh sorry bottom left corner you will see download button that it will be a big button to download the game just download it wait for it after it's downloaded turn the game on and it will take some time initializing and all and then you're in the game now the last thing is that when you're in game, you try to play the game, they kick you out of the game. And sometimes you try to turn on the emulator, uh, that's problems, okay? And sometimes you turn on the emulator, it does not turn on, gives you an error in initializing INF, INI, something like that. So, for the fir first problem that they kick, out, kick you out of the game, you have to just. When you're inside the lobby, okay? Exit, exit this. Here we are, okay. Now reconnect and it won't do anything else, it will just reconnect me. Put me back in the lobby, that's all. Here we are. And when the game ends, just before you do anything, press Alt Tab and then turn on Proxy Fire. Then see if it's turned on, and then if it's turned on, you can then exit the match. Don't exit the match before that, it will tell you that server is busy or you're not in the region okay so the other error that comes on when you turn on the emulator is related to your proxy it means your proxy is not working so then you have to get a new proxy and and to remove the proxy from proxy fire I'll tell you how you can do that go to proxy server remove direct and it will be removed that's not hard so that's how you do it So thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe, that's how you download and fix all the problems. There is no other problem. Uh, if the game lags, then go to settings, uh, graphics, put the textures on something high ultra or anything and then very low, everything very low. Screen scaling should be 100 because below this it looks really ugly. Then VSync should not be turned on apply we're good to go no lag play the game thanks for watching